Microsoft Surface Go 2 versus the Tab S6 versus the Tab S6 Lite. And we have three devices in the mix that we are putting to the test and it's not a battle of operating systems. And you may wonder why we have included the Tab S6 Lite, a budget device, but we really wanted to see how a device like that compares to top-notch devices when you pay double the price. And there are some really intriguing and interesting results. Should we just get into to this. Let's do it. Pricing and configuration. I just want to make sure we are all on the same page here and don't be put off by the different pricing at first. For example, the Surface Go 2 comes in at 549 at the time of filming but doesn't have a pen included. And then you have the Type 6 that comes in more expensive with 620 US dollars but does have the pen included and has more storage to start with. And then you have obviously the odd one out, our budget device, the Type 6 Lite with 349 dollars but also has the pen included. And this is what it would cost you when you spec it up in terms of access you have the pen the keyboard for the Surface Go 2 and it comes in at 758 and then you have the keyboard for the Type S6 it comes in at 819 together both keyboards are the manufacturer keyboards that come or you can buy for both devices in terms of design, there's not really that much of a difference. They're kind of all tablet devices. However, the Microsoft Surface Go has that magnesium build quality that feels really nice and premium. It does scratch easily. I've seen it many, many times on my other devices. And the Tab 6 Lite as well as the Tab 6 come with the aluminium chassis. All feels really nice. Here, I just want to give you a bit of a different view angle and to see what the bezel situation is. The Surface Go 2 is on top on both sides and it's also the heaviest of devices here. The Tab 6 on the bottom left. 420 gram and the Type S6 Lite on the right hand side with 465 gram is a bit heavier than the Tab S6. But when you look at that, you can already see there's a bit of a screen difference here. But in terms of bezels, I would say the Surface Go 2 has the biggest amount of bezel here. To a lot of people out there, the headphone jack is really an important factor when buying a device. And you have that with a Surface Go 2 and a Type S6 Lite, but you don't get that with a Tab S6. However, all three have USB C ports and a micro SD card slot. But there's a difference. I want to talk to you guys briefly about when it comes to the USB-C because on paper all looks fine. When you look at the Surface Go 2 and the Tab S6, USB-C 3.1 generation 1 is standard on both devices. However, already you can see that both have different transfer speed, 10 gigabit per second when it comes to the Surface Go 2 and 5 gigabit per second when it comes to the Tab S6. But the Tab S6 Lite also has USB-C, right? But when you look at the speed, USB 2.0 will give you 480 megabit per second transfer speed and this is really an important factor when you consider buying any of these devices and you plan to connect it to an external monitor. To some people, the ports are more important than the screen quality. For me, it's kind of a different thing here. I really like to have a nice screen when I sit in front of a device. I really want to have that premium feel and also want to have something nice for my eyes. So you have different screen technologies here already. The Surface Go 2 comes with a full HD pixel sensor display. Then you have the TFT for the Type S6 Lite and then you have the Super AMOLED screen for the Type 6 and there is a clear winner here for the Type 6. The colors are just super vibrant but I have to say the Type 6 Lite is not really that far apart from the Type 6. You can see the difference of course and after the Type 6 Lite I would say the Surface Go 2 is number 3 with the full HD screen and by no means is that a bad screen. Having a superb display is one thing, but what about sound quality? You have the Type 6 that comes with Dolby Atmos four speakers, and then you have two speakers for the Type 6 Lite. You also have two stereo speakers with the Surface Go 2, but let's have a listen. Oh yes, we do love our cameras on our mobile phones and what would we do without them? Personally, however, I'm not convinced that you need to have the top of the line camera in a tablet device unless it is a video calling camera because that is really more prominent than ever these days with the current situation. And this is really where the Microsoft device shine and it's no different with the Surface Go 2. The Surface Go 2, this is the camera you will use for video conferencing and the microphone too. We have the same lighting setup. I'm sat in the same place. Place, 
Can you see any differences? This is the Tab S6. This is the camera you will use for video conferencing and of course the microphone. I'm on the Tab S6 Lite and this is the camera you would use for video calling and of course the microphone. Look, we all know numbers are numbers and our Geekbench results are coming up shortly but we also wanted to put them through the, no, like our real life testing. Right? What is it like when we work with applications, normal applications we would use on a daily basis? We're using work Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. And I have to say the Tab S6 Lite performs really well. It's literally milliseconds behind the Surface Go 2 and the Tab S6 really smokes it out here. But I did want to stop here. I wanted to do a really heavy browser benchmark and it's called Basemark 3. And this is a comprehensive web browser performance benchmark that really tests how well our mobile and desktop system can uh, use modern web applications. Oh boy, look at the results here. The Tab S6 doubles the number of the Surface Go 2 for the results and the Tab S6 Lite is almost in line with the Surface Go 2. Tab 6 destroys the Surface Go 2 when it comes to web-based application performance. The gripe I have here with Microsoft is that Microsoft is one of the three big cloud computing players out there. And then the device they sell, the Surface Go 2 device, is not optimized to do any web-based well, browsing application, whatever you want to call it. The Geekbench results are in and look at that. The Tab 6 really knocks it out of the park here. And the Tab 6 Lite, when you look at that compared to the Surface Go 2, really, really is performing well. You know what? Draw your own conclusions here. As for the battery life, there are many factors that really influence that. However, the Surface Go 2 did not really increase the battery life from the previous version. And the Tab 6 and the Tab 6 Lite have the same battery capacity. And here it really depends what you do for how long and how bright the screen is. But you can see roughly up to 10 hours, whereby on heavy usage, Surface Go 2 only goes 5 to 6 hours. When it comes to productivity on these devices, you can buy the external keyboard for the Surface Go 2 and for the Tab 6, which are provided by Microsoft and or Samsung. And as for the experience itself, the key travel on the Surface Go keyboard is actually better than the Tab 6. But the overall experience when it comes to typing and the pleasure of typing, it was better. We felt it was better on the Tab 6. When it comes to the Tab 6 Lite, you can really connect any Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, whatever you like. Feel like a budget device, a budget keyboard for 50 US dollars, and that will do. When you already have a keyboard for those devices, I really highly recommend to get that pen to have that full experience. It just makes such a big difference to take notes and draw whatever your heart desires. I did notice that the Surface Go 2 has a really, really good latency when it comes to the Surface Pen. When you look at that, the Tab 6, not that good. However, that changes. I feel like that changes when you go to the Tab 6 Lite. There, the latency feels like it's better. The Tab 6 Lite also has a new S Pen, which is included in the box. You can also order that for the Tab 6. It works brilliantly on there and it costs you around 50 US dollars. But the latency seems to be better on the Tab 6 Lite or the new S Pen. Not everybody's into gaming these days. However, that doesn't stop us from looking looking into this and the Surface Go 2 is not really designed for any games whatsoever. It really crashed when we did some Fortnite gaming. The Tab 6 Lite, there's some light gaming. You can get up to 30 frames per second in a medium setting. And the Tab 6 really knocks it out of the park here again with the Fortnite gaming test. And you can get up to 60 frames per second also in medium settings. But the Tab 6 was really, really fluid when it came to Fortnite. You made it this far in the video. You're probably wondering which device you should get. Well, it isn't as easy as all However, personally, I feel like that the Microsoft Surface Go 2 lets everybody down. And hear me out first, though, because I'm a big fan of the Surface family of the Surface products. I really, really love them. But the Surface Go 2 falls short in many, many aspects. When you look at the performance of the Tab 6 and even the Tab 6 Lite, it comes in at almost half price. That is much better. The Tab 6 has, uh, for example, the DeX feature you don't get on the Tab 6 Lite. And the Microsoft Surface Go 2 has a lot of things going for it. You know, it's kind of a second device you shove in a bag and that's why it's called Go. It's light, it's really usable. However, battery life is not great. The keyboard is okay. The pen experience is brilliant, but it is really designed for just you go out and do your presentation and that's pretty much it. And when it comes to web browsing and any other task you want to do, like when you go out, you just don't want to do presentations. You also want to have a look at the whatever YouTube and you want to open your Chrome browser, then the device really, really struggles and it gets so frustrating at times. You just want to throw it out. And that doesn't happen with the Galaxy, the Samsung Tab 6 device. Devices. It is really fluid. The Tab 6 Lite, there is a bit of a luck here and then, and the Tab 6 really, really runs like there's no tomorrow. So if I had to choose, I probably would go with the Tab 6 first, Tab 6 Lite second, and the Microsoft Surface Go 2 last. But again, it is up to you guys what it is you need it for. But let me know in the comments below which device is really for you.